Hello, I'm Sam from Lindo Guitars, and today we're going to be taking a look at the breathtaking Lindo Sahara, which release marked the 20th anniversary of our Bristol-based business. Now, I was playing some fairly bluesy stuff in the introduction, but as you'll hear later on in the video, this thing sounds great all the way from Hendrixy stuff to some really chuggy metal. Let's go over some of the features. As with many of our instruments, this thing is seriously a looker. Our creative director took inspiration from the rich African artwork of the Sahara region to create this truly unique and beautiful design. Everywhere you look on this guitar, there is something that catches your eye. From the graphic design on the front to the nautical inlay on the 12th fret, this thing is all about adventure, exploration, and pushing the limits. One of the coolest features on this guitar you can't really actually see right now and that is the composite neck. Now, not only is this an environmentally conscious design choice, but it's also an aesthetic one. I think this thing looks absolutely amazing. Further to that, the composite wood we use is incredibly sturdy, handles things like temperature changes really, really well, which ensures that your guitar is gonna stay nice and in tune and perfectly set up all throughout the year. It's a really unique and innovative way of designing guitar necks, and I think it really makes this instrument stand out from the crowd. In terms of construction and hardware, um, the guitar has a double cutaway, it's got a basswood body, it's got a solid laurel fretboard, um, and then as I mentioned earlier, it's got a composite bolt-on neck. The inlays are intricately made using abalone seashell and maple, a combination that gives off an almost three-dimensional look, a really creative design choice. The Sahara also features glow-in-the-dark fret markers, meaning that your hands are never going to be getting lost, even if you're playing on a really dimly lit stage. In terms of hardware, the guitar has a silver hardtail intonation adjustable bridge. It's got some lovely silver chrome tuners to match, and it's got a bone nut. I really do love the headstock on this guitar. It just looks so clean. Pickup wise, we've got a set of Lindo's Alnico humbuckers in the guitar. The neck pickup has an output of around 8.4K and the bridge pickup has an output of around 15K. They sound great. They've got a lot of clarity even when you really start cranking the gain up and they're super versatile too, as you'll hear later on in the video. The neck pickup is nice and warm and the bridge pickup with that little bit more output has the perfect amount of bite so that you can really cut through in guitar solos. The rest of the electronics are fairly intuitive, um, but we've got a volume knob here which controls volume for both pickups, a tone knob that controls tone for both pickups, and then a three-way pickup selector here too. Playability wise, the guitar has a really comfortable C-shaped neck that's probably slightly on the chunkier side, which to be honest fits me down to the T, and then it's got a fairly flat fretboard radius of 14 inches, which is really nice because it just allows you to go into really big bends without having to worry about fretting out um, and it just gives the guitar great sustain whilst you're soloing. Now, one thing that we've always been really proud of here at Lindo is that every single one of our guitars gets a full professional setup here in our Bristol headquarters before we get them sent out to you. This just ensures that the guitar you receive is going to be playing and sounding great straight out of the box. So, now that we've gone through all of the features, let's see what this thing sounds like.
So this has been a little demo of the Lindo Sahara. You can check out this guitar along with many other fantastic models on our website. Thank you for watching and take care.